The West has ruled the skies for decades, but that's about to change. America's F-22 and F-35, Russia's Su-57 and Su-75, China's J-20 and J-35. These are the jets grabbing all the headlines. You see them in movies, in military expos, everywhere. But there's one fighter jet rising quietly. Like a predator in the shadows, it's ready to strike, and it could become the West's worst nightmare. Imagine this. Their sails shrink to zero. Their air supremacy, gone forever. And all of it because of just four letters, AMCA. This might be the most important four-letter word in modern military history. And today we're going to find out why. Get ready, because what comes next is going to be very spicy, Indian style. For over 2,000 years, India has stood as a beacon of culture, knowledge, and unimaginable wealth. And because of that, it was invaded not once or twice, but more than 25 times. India never sought conquest, but the world never stopped trying to conquer it. That's why for India, the military is not just power, it's survival. It's a shield for everything the nation dreams of becoming. Now imagine this, you're handed the responsibility of building India's military from scratch. What do you do first? Where do you place your first billion dollars? If it were me, I'd start with the skies because no nation is safe if its skies are vulnerable. India understood that, so they searched for the world's best, the most advanced fighter jets, the strongest air defense systems. Money was no object, and when it came to air power, India looked to the U.S. Over 120 F-35s were on the table. America was ready, so was India. But one decision changed everything. India chose Russia's S-400 missile defense system over American alternatives, a system that could challenge stealth, reach long ranges, and dominate the skies. The U.S. was furious. They had hoped to sell India the Patriot and Thad systems, but now they pulled the plug on their 35 deal, just like that. Meanwhile, Russia stepped in, offering India full access to co-develop the Su-57, its flagship stealth fighter. On paper, it looked like a great deal, but India had already learned a painful lesson. In the Su-30 MKI deal, India spent billions and got little in return. Manufacturing costs inside India ended up being higher than simply importing the jets from Russia. The so-called technology transfer mostly just benefited Moscow. India realized something critical. Being a buyer means being controlled. And the world doesn't hand over true power. You have to build it yourself. That's when the spark was lit. A decision was made that would change India's future forever. The AMCA project was born. India's first true fifth-generation stealth fighter, designed, built, and controlled by India itself. But what exactly is AMCA, and how does this one jet have the potential to shake the very foundation of global air power? That's what we're about to find out. Before we dive into the specs, let me prove just how powerful and threatening this jet really is, with one undeniable fact. Remember how the U.S. refused to sell the F-35 to India? Well, just days after India publicly announced the AMCA project, Washington came crawling back, suddenly eager to offer the very same F-35s they once denied. Why the sudden desperation? Because the AMCA isn't just a jet, it's a warning shot to the global defense industry. And in my opinion, India should never buy those F-35s. When someone begs you to spend $80 million per jet for 120 jets, you can be sure they're not selling strength. They're selling fear. India is now on the right path. With just a little more investment, it could not only match, but outclass the West in the fifth generation fighter market. But how good is the AMCA really? Let's start with stealth. From the front and side, it's nearly invisible. The rear might not match the F-35's low observable performance, but every other angle, designed to vanish from enemy radar. Compared to Russia's Su-75 checkmate, the AMCA wins hands down. Better avionics, better sensors, a more mature design, and most importantly, more realistic. The checkmate is still a prototype on paper. The AMCA, already deep in development. What about the Su-57 felon? Sure, it's heavier and might win a close-range dogfight with raw agility, but in every other category, stealth, sensors, electronic warfare, weapon systems, the AMCA has the upper hand. So what gives AMCA this deadly edge? It's not just the frame, it's what's inside the beast. This isn't just a fifth-gen fighter. 
It's what experts are calling a 5.5 gen aircraft. Why? Because it's loaded with AI powered combat systems, tech that rivals even early sixth generation prototypes. It's like flying with a supercomputer that never sleeps. One that's constantly calculating threats, locking targets, jamming enemy radars, helping pilots make split second decisions before the enemy even knows they're there. Just look at what it can do. Detect enemy radar and analyze signal strength to instantly tell if you're being tracked. Automatically jam those radars using your own radar as a weapon. Lock on to enemies 10x faster than traditional systems, like flying with your own personal AWACS in the cockpit. This isn't future talk. This is India's now. So what's next? Firepower. Because all this tech means nothing if it can't dominate in a fight. And trust me, what the MCA is carrying into battle is enough to give any enemy pilot nightmares. Let's talk weapons. This is where things get very interesting. India isn't just building a fifth generation stealth jet. It's arming it with homegrown weapons so powerful they could turn the AMCA into a nightmare machine for any superpower. There won't be just one AMCA. There will be two variants, and the second is where legends are born. Mark I will take flight first, equipped with imported engines and sensors, but it's Mark II that will shock the world. Because this version, it's 100% Indian built. Every bolt, every circuit, every line of code, no hand-holding, no foreign tech, just raw Indian innovation. And here's the jaw dropper. India's indigenous radar and engine aren't just filling gaps. They're projected to outperform their imported counterparts in power, stealth, and efficiency. Mark II will also bring in the next level of warfare, integrating sixth generation features like an AI assisted co pilot, turning every pilot into a one man army with machine speed reflexes. This isn't just a fighter jet, it's a declaration. India is done following. Now it leads. Let's start with air to air capability. India recently unveiled the Astra Mark III, an advanced beyond visual range missile with a staggering range of 340 kilometers. That's nearly half the range of an F-22 Raptor's entire combat radius. Now imagine this equation. AMCA plus Astra Mark III equals Dedawax destroyed fuel tankers equals mission aborted. The AMCA will likely carry four of these missiles, possibly modified versions, to fit in its internal weapons bay, maintaining stealth. What does that mean? It means no enemy aircraft, not even from the U.S., can get close to Indian airspace without being eliminated before they even know what hit them. But let's go deeper, because air-to-ground capability is where the AMCA becomes truly terrifying. Imagine this stealth jet carrying a hypersonic version of the BrahMos missile. Now, sure, it can't fit that in the internal bay, so it has to be mounted externally, compromising stealth. But that's a small price to pay when the missile itself has a range of 1,000 to 1,400 kilometers and flies at Mach 7. That's fast enough to obliterate any air defense system on the planet, even the most advanced ones. But India didn't stop there. It added something no one else has ever done before, an AI co-pilot, yes, the one we mentioned earlier, that can guide the missile, adjust its trajectory and altitude, and even help it dodge SAMs in real time, right up to the moment of impact. Let that sink in. India's next-gen stealth fighter can take out any target anywhere, no matter how well defended. While others compete for dominance, India quietly built the future. No noise. No compromise, just one bold move. If the AMCA can take on the world, you can definitely take on that subscribe button. India launched the AMCA to checkmate superpowers. You can launch your finger on that like button just as fast. Share this video before it goes stealth and help Caspian Insight establish total air superiority over YouTube. Thanks for flying with us. Your support means everything. This is Caspian Insight, signing off.